接下来来看的是阿罕布拉联合学区与阿市警局合作，今天在阿罕布拉高中宣布展开最新一波学区反霸凌宣导活动，目标是要联合社区以及学校的力量，共同打击校园当中的霸凌现象。阿罕布拉联合学区反霸凌宣导运动开跑，邀请到多位运动明星做代言，希望借由这些明星的影响力，传达正面讯息，阻止校园暴力的蔓延。If you get bullied right now, and you need to reach out to somebody that you really care about, that that probably understand you. So that's going to be a parent or some adult, teacher or someone like that. So reach out to them, let them know what's going on, and that way they can get you around the people that's going to lend that help and hand out. To you, that where this would be stopped in its tracks. 新移民与少数族裔更容易成为霸凌事件中的受害者。A lot of our Asian children are bullied right now. When I ask parents what's the number one, number two issue, they say bullying because their children tend to be short, maybe smaller, so they get bullied all the time. They don't want to raise their hand to answer questions, and that is very, very bad. And so we have to make sure that we can stop bullying. Now, 今天这项宣导活动也是阿罕布拉联合学区一个名为 Gateway to Success 辅导项目的一部分。该项目提供学生咨商服务，让受霸凌学生的心理压力可以及时得到疏导，同时也教育家长亲子沟通的方法，双管齐下，为学生创造一个优质的成长与学习环境。About 1,500 kids of our district are referred every year for counseling services, and the more students that are referred, we keep connecting and making more resources and therapy. Is available for them. 除了在学区中提升反霸凌意识，该宣导项目也要为学区 Gateway to Success 辅导项目筹集资金，努力建立一个零霸凌的校园安全环境。十八台新闻阿世采访报道。